Hi, I'm Jason Bellamy coming to you from beautiful Southern California and CSM 2016. I'm joined by APTA's President Sharon Dunn. Um, CSM, we're a few days in. You've been here. You had board meeting, component leadership meeting, and now we're actually into CSM proper. Um, thoughts so far on CSM? Thoughts so far on CSM is that this is one of the most exciting CSMs I've attended before. The energy level seems very high. Sections are active. The programming gets better every year. So it's a great time to be a physical therapist or a physical therapist assistant. The energy is high and the attendance is high. Yeah, the, so we broke records here, Jason, and, and it's exciting to talk about a record. We don't have final numbers yet, but we know we're above 11,000. So that's very exciting. That's incredible. So all those 11,000 people coming, they're united by their passion for physical therapy, their desire to learn more, to move things forward. And you've had this message uh, throughout of, of sort of better together. Yeah. And, you know, APTA's membership number is climbing, but you're not just talking about being members of the association. What are you talking about in, in bringing together all these people for a better future? We're, we're talking about alignment towards the new vision for APTA, that we're better when we're all working together. There's a exponential increase on the outcomes of our efforts when everybody is working together to achieve that. So that's internal togetherness. That's our sections and our components working together. But also we're partnering with external partners to, to align and find mutual benefits of a partnership. For instance, we had uh, international leadership here, one president from Australia and another president from Canada. The phys physiotherapeutic associations were here and we had a panel discussion yesterday. We talked about some of the same things that we're encountering, uh, the public perception of the professions, uh, the need to show value for payment. So we share the same issues so we're better together to solve them. So one of the things that came up, uh, and I, it leads me to something else that happened at the board meeting before, um, Michael Brennan, who's the CEO of mm -hmm. the Canadian Physiotherapy Association, was talking about how they really made a radical shift towards looking at their students as the future of their association. Uh, APTA is doing a lot of the same thing, really thinking about their students. And you had a presentation on Reteam, which is this group about engaging that young professional set. What are your thoughts on that new professional group? I think they're vital to the future of the profession and we um, have worked with Reteam uh, over the past year and a half which Reteam is an acronym for a group of uh, early career professionals that we brought together to see what their needs were for an organization to meet their professional and personal needs for development. And through that work, and Matt Hyland and Kathy Myrella from the board perspective worked through with them. Through that work, they brought eight recommendations to the board of directors, and, and with a few amendments, all eight passed, and we're really ready to engage that group to not only work with us, but blow down the barriers and take the profession to the next level. So I saw this great tweet on social media today from one of the CSM sessions and it was talking about mentorship and it says, you know, your mentor doesn't have to be older than you, they, you know, they can be younger than you too. And um, the student president, uh, Kayla, she spoke very eloquently the other day about, you know, APTA membership, it, you're not in a member for, you know, the dues you pay or for the website, it's for the people around you. And, and that goes along with your Better Together theme too. And, and I wonder, you know, what do you see in this really engaged new professional group that sort of maybe some of the veteran, let's call them veteran uh, physical therapists and physical therapist assistants can learn from? The primary thing that I see in this new group is their ability to communicate to mass audiences. So if we have messaging that we need to take to the masses, they can do it instantaneously. We don't need a trickle-down effect. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it, it's hit a button and get your message across. So we, we can learn for them, from them. And I've already learned from our student and uh, young early career professionals that tactic. The other thing is the enthusiasm that they bring to a, to a project. They're, they're ready to go. They're ready, fire, aim. And so that's working collaboratively with them for a positive outcome is, is nothing like it. CSM is very exciting. It brings everybody together. Thank you, Sharon Dunn, for your time. Thanks, Jason. You can see more updates from CSM on the CSM website. I'm Jason Bellamy, and I'll catch you later.